past month by Mr. Marcos's former running mate, Arturo Tolentino. And for weeks now, local newspapers have been filled with inflammatory headlines and wild rumors about new potential coups and plots. Some of the rumors were fueled by Defense Minister Juan Ponce and Relay, who announced that military intelligence had uncovered a plot to kidnap Aquino and other leaders in preparation for the return of Mr. Marcos. The military leaders here are taking no chances. The armed forces have been placed on red alert, but even the soldiers near the palace today didn't act as if they felt very threatened. Tonight, as Mrs. Aquino arrived in Indonesia, the Philippine capital was calm and peaceful. If it remains this way, it'll be a big step toward building confidence in the stability of the Aquino government. Mark Litke, ABC News, Manila. And while the new president travels abroad, the former president remains in exile in Hawaii. But Ferdinand Marcos still has supporters, and several hundred Philippine Americans showed that support outside of his Honolulu home. Greg Dobbs has the story. Ferdinand Marcos said before walking into this rally here on his own back lawn that he has no plans, no practical program, as he put it, to go back to the Philippines. But once on stage, he let his supporters believe that the battle isn't over. You may kill us one by one, but you will never kill the cause for which we fight. What Marcos and these Filipino-American supporters of his are telling the U.S. government is that Cory Aquino, who visits the U.S. next month, has ignored democracy in the Philippines and jeopardized freedom by letting communism go unchecked. This group wants the U.S. to believe that its best interests are to help Marcos go back, the same way six months ago the U.S. helped him leave. I couldn't uh, suddenly... Uh land in uh, MIA and be should I will end up uh, uh, alive. Marcos loyalists say that they do have some support in Washington and that they will persist in getting more. Greg Dobbs, ABC News, Honolulu. And finally, the weather. It's going to be cloudy tonight with a low temperature of about 27 degrees. Tomorrow is expected to be partly cloudy with some isolated showers. It should get up to about 31 degrees. And with that, we end tonight's news. So for all of us here, thanks for watching, and have a nice evening. Tomorrow at 8, coverage of the major events in Tuesday Sport. Studio 930, a tale of horror in The Unseen. Tomorrow on Pearl. Exquisite taste sensations await you at the Riverside Sichuan restaurant. Spicy Sichuan cuisine or delicate Cantonese dishes are prepared with a gourmet touch. The Riverside Sichuan restaurant is located on Junction Road in Kowloon Tong. Parking service is available in the evening. In Chinese, Putao is great. Chi sparkling and Chi wine. Put them together and you have Putao Chi Chiu, a rich, flavorful and subtle wine. Enjoy the cool, exciting qualities of Putao Chi Chiu, a splendid grape sparkling wine from Beijing. This is TVB Pearl.